most, you know, I like to start out with a kind of a, uh, a bigger picture topic uh, where it makes sense. Uh, what I want to do this morning is, is show a, I guess, kind of a stylized version of, of how we attempt to convey the math, um, in this case, you know, some of the machine learning and statistical learning stuff on to the macro. Um, you know, so the only way you can really do this, I, I drew up some stuff, um, is, is in low dimensional space. But as you think about it, conceptually, uh, it's the same when you abstract into, you know, these higher dimensional spaces that you're actually working with in models. So whether you're talking about, you know, a thousand or a 10,000 dimensional space, um, the concept is really the same. So here is our set of points. Can you see those, DJ? Yeah. So the red belongs to one class of outcomes. Uh, black belongs to our second class of outcomes. Now, the question is, you know, how do we generate a model that defines the boundary between the two classes and allows us to, to uh, classify predictions, right? Um, so the answer uh, is that we make it more complex, which um, maybe counterintuitively has the nice effect of actually making it simpler. So. Uh, what we do is we transform or project the data and so in this case a, you know two-dimensional data into a higher dimensional space or into three-dimensional data so what you got to do is imagine actually here so imagine we anchor our plot here see the green dot and what you want to do is you're going that's going to be your anchor and you're going to take the thing and pull it up effectively projecting your two-dimensional plot into three-dimensional space. Um, so this, you know, again, remember, picture it being a more kind of um, complicated, uh, complicated structure. Um, it's not as simple here. It's relatively simple. It's just a circle in terms of defining your boundary. Uh, but imagine, you know, a more complex boundary, um, some higher order uh, polynomial or, or what have you. Um, and we want to define that boundary. So we project it into higher dimensional space and you end up with something like this. Instead of having to figure out some, you know, some um, more complex equation to, to classify your boundary, now all you have to do after we projected it is now your boundary is a line, right? Um, or a hyperplane, I guess, in, in three dimensions. Um, so remember, you know, what does that mean? Um, you know, again, our brains really can't abstract beyond three dimensional space and we can't, you know, reasonably conceptualize a, a, a 10,000 or a million dimensional space. Um, but the principle is the same. And now imagine here, you know, here we're trying to classify two things, maybe pretty complex. Here we made it more complex, made it simpler, but um, now we can define our, our, uh, our decision boundary just with a line. Now imagine this represents growth decelerating and this represents growth accelerating and now we have a clean way to um to classify our projections um so hopefully that made sense but that's just one way of, of thinking about um of uh simplifying the complex at least how we do it uh over here on the macro side